everybody out there. Welcome to the stream. I know we didn't do the countdown today, but I was like, you know what? I'm a little late. I'm ready to go. Y'all ready to go. So let's just start the stream. Hello, everybody. Hope you guys are having a thrilling Thursday. I almost said a fantastic Friday because I think keep thinking it is Friday, but no, it is Thursday. So hello there, everyone. Welcome to the drawing stream. Sorry, we can only do two streams to this week, but this should be a lot of fun. <laughs> yes. So I'm thinking for today's stream, we could create something fun. I don't know what. I'm up for any and all suggestions, but remember, I'm not looking for any characters that already exist out in the world. Like, give me an animal, give me an inanimate object, give me a person with a funny trait. I'm up for just about anything, as long as it's not a character that already exists. I'm up for anything and everything. Come on, hit me with it. Let's do it. Did you hear someone? No? Uh, there's no one else here besides Johan and Bo, and they'll only come out whenever I tell them to. How is Sandy? Sandy's good. She didn't want to come downstairs today, but eh, that is okay. She's here in spirit. Hi, Brian. Uh, I, how are you? I saw Across the Spider-Verse two weeks ago, and I love it. It's so good, right? It's such a good movie. Do Johan and Bo count as existing, as existing characters? Um, I guess not. Maybe. <laughs> I meant a mention of a YouTuber. Did I? Did I mention a YouTuber? I don't think so. Almost forgot. You became a Twitch affiliate yesterday. Nice. Congratulations. Ooh, how about an elf as a knight? I like it. I like it. We're doing an elf as a knight. An elf as a knight. So let me figure out how I'm going to do this real quick. So I am changing up a little bit of my normal style about how I'm going to draw. Because I have now realized that me coloring like that. I know y'all have been saying it. It's like you can just use the fill for how you color. And it's like yes. But also no because I like them on separate layers. But I figured out I can just duplicate that layer. And then just add stuff that I want to do so I can fill it in there. I don't know why I never thought to do it like that way before. But that's what we're going to do. So we have an elf as a knight. And when I say an elf... Well, are we talking like Lord of the Rings elf? Or I was thinking like Keebler elf. I think Keebler elf would be funny. Hang on. I'm going to pull up some pictures of Keebler elf. Yeah. I meant like a Keebler elf. I hope that's what you were talking about. Because I wasn't talking like Lord of the Rings. Because they're, let's be real here. Some of them are basically knights already. But a Keebler elf is funny. <laughs> a Keebler elf. It's going to be a knight. So that's, I'm going more the Keebler elf style. So let me see here. Okay. So I'm not drawing actually a Keebler elf, but I'm getting inspiration from say Keebler elf to make it my own thing. So yeah. So I kind of got like this little portrait body like that, but they got a big head. And then I shall have me holding a sword. And it's going to have kind of, uh, I'm trying to think of the arms, I'm trying to think of the word for it. Um, Got to draw my line of action. So kind of going in here, so I'll draw like the foot coming out here to kind of replicate that action. He's kind of got his foot up here on a rock, trying to look all heroic, but he's a short little Keebler elf. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, dang. Oh, hose arms. That's what it's called, where their arms are kind of like rubber hoses. He's kind of got that hose arm thing. Keebler elves don't really have that. That's how I'm kind of throwing some stuff in to differentiate my elf from the Keebler elves. But there's definitely some inspiration. Now, they all have these little ears that are pretty big and I got these big old cheeks and then they got kind of a nose like that and they got little circle eyes like right there and he will have 
a strong expression. He is ready and he's doing whatever it takes to defend the tree, to defend the cookie tree. <laughs> Almost Popeye-like. I, I can kind of see that. I can kind of see that. But then they kind of got these little, little cheek marks. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's kind of fun. <gasps> Give him a cookie shield? <gasps> oh, that's brilliant. That's brilliant. Yes, he shall have his cookie shield. And it's helpful. I don't have to draw another hand. <laughs> I'm going to go like a shield shape around it. But I have a giant cookie in the middle. Almost like that's his... Thing. But he's not gonna have He's not gonna have the straight up traditional knight helmet because then you can't see his face, so I guess he's still gonna get a Keebler hat. Not doesn't really make a lot of sense, but then again, neither does having a Keebler elf as a knight. Uh MA14M, thank you. How about mixing your star sign with your Chinese one in the next drawing stream? It'd be helpful if I knew what either one of those were, and I don't. <laughs> Like, yours would be a dog with a scorpion to make a dogorpion. Um, I don't know what either of mine are. <laughs> so, I don't know how well I'd be able to do that. But you get a wheel spin anyway. And, oh, it is a voice filter. What would you like? Uh, well, what filter would you like? Okay, let's see here. Well, okay, so for this side of the face, they actually have a bigger cheek, so let's kind of go with that. I made the cheek a little too small before. I know that's kind of hard for me to think. I was like, oh, I thought I made it pretty big. But I did not. And so we're going to add, they don't really have it quite like this. This is where we're going to make it a little different. This is like Keebler Elf in the style of Brian. He's kind of got, well, it's kind of got a little link, a, a, like a link flare with the Keebler elf hat. So yeah, we'll definitely keep that. So it's like, ha ha. So I guess we're, are we just making a Keebler elf, but make him link? <laughs> I know I said like no established characters, but we kind of ended up doing that. Let's give him like a different color right there. He's ready for anything. Ba -ba -ba -bum. Ba -ba 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 -bum -bum. Okay, so there's kind of like his head. I'm debating about what the clothing should look like. So it should be kind of like a... Hang on. I'm pulling up more pictures over here on my other computer. I want to get some elements of knight armor, but I don't want to go too hard with it because, like, with real knight armor, like, nothing is shown. You can't move as much as he's doing now. So, get rid of this. I can kind of work on the cookie part of the shield. Put some chocolate chips in there. I'll do some more things to make it look more like a cookie, but for right now, that's kind of what we have. Logan, thank you. Kind of looks more like a soccer ball right now. Have you seen the movie Storks? I believe it's a DreamWorks movie. Close. It's a uh, Warner Brothers picture. But they haven't made a lot, so it's easy for them to kind of get put under there. Uh, yeah, it was the Warner Animation Group. I don't know if they're still around ever since the buyout. But yes, I have seen it. I, I enjoyed it. I think it's a very cute movie. Mm. Johan. All right, Johan will come out and do some more of this. Johan. Hello everyone, it is Johan! Time for fun with Johan! Time for fun with Johan! Yeah, 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 yeah! Time for fun with Johan! <coughs> Hello everyone! It is Johan here! Welcome! Wait, what? Brian, you left your phone over there! We have to set the timer, yeah? Set the timer for the three minutes? Now let's see! He wants to add some elements of 
night. Oh, did not mean to draw that. Was trying to do this. So if we can start working on the sword. <gasps> you know what would be funnier? If he doesn't have a sword. But he has a big wooden spoon. <laughs> that is funnier, yeah? He's ready to go out to battle, but all he has is a little spoon. <laughs> okay, Johan likes this better. Johan likes this better. Let's go with more... Kind of like a vest thing. Da 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 Yes, Johan likes this. So he gets the big shoes. Yes. I'm kind of standing on like a rock thing. Should it be a rock? Yeah, we'll make it a rock. Yes. Yes. Okay, Johan likes this. But in fact, he has another idea. We're going to make him a little bit smaller. And put him over here. Because Johan has a plan. Johan's got an idea. Wait. Johan wants to put that layer there. Let's see here. So behind him, we're going to put... This. <laughs> oh. Johan made it small. And it's like hanging up here. It's a, it's a tree! And with the little doors that leads inside to the cookie shop. Make like little stairs. Because it is for the little elves, yeah? It's a rough drawing. We'll, Brian will make it look nicer later. But it's like he is defending the cookie shop. You will be defeated. We shall keep the cookie shop alive. Okay, yeah. Okay, let me go get Brian now. I like it, Johan. I know you would. All right. Nice. Uh, oh, and you want the robot filter. We can totally do the robot filter. All right, the robot filter. And we begin the timer now. Do, 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 do. Now let's go ahead and start adding some line work um let's add another layer above both of these so let's go ahead and start with his ears oh, oh that's a little thick i don't know if i quite want it that thick hang on let's uh Oh no, that's the passive. Bring down the sash, just here. Because I want it thick, but not too bad. Yeah, that, that looks good. So now we'll have this kind of curve around in this shape. Yeah, so right now I'm just focused more on the basic head shapes. And then I'll go through and fix up the eyebrows and stuff to make it all look good. There we go. Dan, thank you. Uh, this guy will definitely keep it safe from cookie monsters. Pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. Ooh, you get a voice filter too. What voice filter would you like? Uh, what are what are y'all's favorite cookies in chat? Good idea, Miss Art Rules. Yeah, everyone tell me in chat what your favorite cookies are. 
I'm I'm no basic. Give me a cu chocolate chip cookies. They're my favorite. Either that or sometimes they put like they mix Reese's in there. Oh, that's good stuff right there. Or like just peanut butter. Peanut butter cookies are also really good. I love those. So bring that up here. Eh, no, I want kind of a curve on it. So yeah, we'll over exaggerate the curve a little bit. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. I think that looks really good. Dr. Morrow, thank you. He should have on an apron vest and a milk mustache. Well, I feel like the apron might be a little too much extra stuff on him with the shield in that. And I don't know how the milk mustache would show up. I think it just looked like there's a spot in him I didn't color. <laughs> so, I get where you're coming from, though. That would be funny, though. Yeah, give him his nose. Give him his upper lip. Oh, no, it didn't curve it. Like, that's a great tool the, for, yeah, to be able to, like, clean up your lines and stuff, but it sometimes doesn't work the way that I wished it would. And I was like, you obviously know what I'm trying to do here, but you won't let it happen, which makes me sad sometimes, but, you know, it is what it is, and it is such a helpful tool in general, I kind of can't fault it too bad. All right. No more robot filter. And Dan has not told us what filter he wants yet. But that is okay. That is okay. So I'm technically not drawing this one well because, like, the nose is showing up a little bit. You know what? We can fix that. Yeah. Uh oh. Got that off a little bit. Trying to make this look as clean as I can. All right. <clears throat> and then we get your cheek over here. Get the Keebler elf lines. There we go. And then get some over here. I don't think they have quite as many as I gave them on that side, but eh. We'll just give him three over here. Uh, no, we'll give him four. I don't know. Three doesn't look right. But I look at the picture, and they only have three. So that's one more way I'll differentiate it. It's mine. Mine's different. <laughs> Logan, thank you. Uh, so you're playing Fire Emblem on your Switch and was just introduced to Sane, and I already don't like him. I've never played any of the Fire Emblems myself, but I've heard they're great. I've heard they are wonderful. Um, ooh, it is a fun fact. Fun fact, I've never played a Fire Emblem game. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll do a better one. Um... Well, hang on. I'll make this a little more Keebler Elf, because I made them, like, rectangles. But in reality, they're more, like, teardrop kind of looking shapes. No, I don't like that. I think I'm like an oval. It might be a little too ovaly. Let's just kind of let it make an oval shape, you know? If I don't like it, I can change it. Yeah, I don't like that. You know what? Let's just stick with my rectangles. Because they have a little style. Because they, they kind of flare out a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Okay, now, real fun fact. Um, I was going to try to think of something cookie-related. But I don't know any off the top of my head. I guess I'd have to go look that one up if I wanted to do a cookie one specifically. Um, but I can't think of one. So I guess I would say... Uh, fun fact, my least favorite cookie is oatmeal raisin. Because I had too many of those as a kid. Kept thinking that they were chocolate chip and was only met with bitter disappointment. They're not that bad of cookies, but because they have betrayed me on more than one occasion, I cannot trust them. So they are now my least favorite. 
And I'm sure we have a few Oatmeal Raisin fans who are like, no, give them another chance. And I'm like, they had their chance. <laughs> they had their chance. I definitely want to make sure I get the eyes a little more detailed. As you know, the most important part of any drawing or character is their eye. As... The eye is the window to the soul. I'm changing up the hair a little bit to add a little more pizzazz. I love that so much. The whole, you hold your pen down for a second and it just cleans up your line. Ah, I love it too much maybe. I use it all the time. <laughs> you feel the same way about raisin cookies? Yes! I am not alone! More power to anyone who does like oatmeal raisin. Yes, absolutely! Because I know you guys are out there. My grandmother is one of you. But good golly molly. I just, for the life of me, couldn't deal. I was just like, no. You have betrayed me for the last time, Oatmeal Raisin Cookies. You are not chocolate chip. You will never be chocolate chip. And how dare you pretend otherwise. Well, granted, in its defense, it wasn't actually trying. I just mistook it, so. You could say that all of my anger is poorly placed. But yet I stand by what I say. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm drawing a dramatic Keebler elf. But I'm feeling a little dramatic today, too. Oh, that was definitely too many curves for my little trick. Yeah, that's another thing I don't like about this little curve trick is it's really nice. But, you know, you got to be careful with it because it can't go quite as far as you want it to go. But, I mean, it does allow me to break up the shape a little bit with stuff like this. Which, yeah, at the end of the day, does make a better shape. Ah. Hang on, let me... Yeah, let's make a good curve right here. Coming up here, and then we'll angle it a bit more. Coming down. Yeah. That feels right. His hat is blowing nobly in the wind. I'll draw the curve first, and then I can draw the next big curve. Yes. Yes, he is a mighty warrior. <laughs> and hang on, they got like this little band of color right up here on their hat. Like the hats are usually red and they've got like this yellow bit going on. There we go. I like the additions that Johan made. Don't tell him that. It'll make it'll give him a big head. I probably could have just made a whole circle for that, but eh. And add a little detail. Try to spoon. Try to spoon. <laughs> Or I guess it's kind of a ladle. Joey, thank you. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. Get the reference? Yes, I do. I have seen Bruce Almighty. <laughs> also, you're going to see the new Indiana Jones movie. Yes, I am. I don't know exactly when. But I'm going to see it. 
Dan Solo. Uh, oh, we do have a filter for that now. Okay, cool. Oh, it is tell a joke. I feel like I need a cookie joke. Dang it. <laughs> All right. Why did the cookie cry? Because his mother was away for so long. <laughs> With a wafer. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I love it. But what's even cooler, you guys, uh, I haven't talked about this, but you guys have known on the last couple drawing streams that um, anytime I would stream and I was doing a drawing stream, there would be this really big noise in my headphones that, oh, that I told you about. And I'm like, can you all hear that? And it turns out it was just my headphones oh, just in my computer. Out of nowhere, it's not doing it anymore. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. So this is supposed to be like there's a shadow on the spoon and this like little line is shading for it. I don't know if that's quite reading the way that I want, but you know, it is what it is. So now I'll draw his fingers. I'm pretty sure, I will admit, hands are not my strong suit. They are definitely one of the weaker parts of my um, my arsenal of artistry, but I'm pretty sure it's held this way. I know we have some actual artists in the chat who actually went to art school and stuff, whereas I just kind of learned all by my lonesome. So if you guys, uh, y'all guys are probably like, why is his hand backwards? It's like. It doesn't, like, at least right now, it doesn't look. No, that, that would look weird. Okay, no, that, that, that looks weird. Wait, if I'm holding something, and I'm like, ha, huh. ha. Huh. Okay, so, yeah. I'm not too far off. I'm not too far off. I think. Hands are your weakness, too? Okay, thank you. Well, I mean, it doesn't help that animals you can get away with a ton because, you know, we're not animals. We don't know what they always do. So I can fin I can finagle a lot with that. You can't finagle nothing with human stuff. So a hand just feels weird otherwise. Okay, so I like the general hand shape, but I think the thumb should be high. No, that feels worse. Why do you feel like I draw hands better than you? I don't know if that's true. I don't know if that's true. But yeah, no. Hands are hands are my weakness. That's why I draw animals so often. It's just that's when I was a kid, I didn't want to draw anything but animals. So that's just kind of carried over. But I'm trying to draw more human characters now, or at least more human-ish characters now. So I'm really trying to make myself do more of this. But, you know, it is still tricky. It is still tricky. No. Oh, 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 yeah, that feels right. That feels right. That feels right. So I think it was less about where the thumb was and more what shape the thumb was. It didn't feel like a connected hand. But now that does. And now we kind of get a... Yeah. Yeah. That feels right now. That looks decent. It's not the best hand out there, but it'll get the job done in a pinch. Uh, 
And I'll get the job done. Yeah, yes, it will. Yes, it will. If only I had all the time to do this drawing, I would really uh, like to have like the elf a little further away from the cookie shop door and have like other elves like watching inside as they're like, oh, look at him, it is Bartholomew. How, what is he doing? We need to hide. He is being too bold. And he's like, there is no such thing as too bold. Logan, thank you. Uh, the character from Storks that cracks me up is Pigeon Toady. Wah, what's up? Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, did you catch the game on Friday? Oh, it was amazing. Until it wasn't. And then they missed the pass, but then they got it back. <laughs> Voice of my choice. What I gotta do, Pigeon Toady? <laughs> oh, I just totally did it. She's had a hard life. <laughs> and there was no game yesterday, wait. I love it all. I'm an I'm an all. <laughs> oh, I love it. That is an underrated gem right there. Most people, I don't understand why that movie got as panned as it did. Because I was like, okay, y'all, there is no reason to pan this movie. I'm not going to sit here and say it's the best movie that I've ever seen, but it was a genuinely fun time. And I'm going to say it right here and right now. I think that the voice actress for Tulip, phenomenal. I loved her performance so much. I just, she was just so much fun. Like, I, and I would sit there and think, it's like, I can't think of a single actress, like any big name actress or anything like that. Because she, she's not like a big name actress. She is a, she is a voice actress. Which I, number one, think is amazing. But I'm not biased at all. None at all. Um, I think we might only have time to get the elf himself done. And then we might have to leave the next, the actual cookie shop and stuff for a later stream. But, hey, that's alright. We could totally do that. Katie Crown plays Tulip. I was not aware of her until Storks, but she was incredible. I remember she was the reason I saw that movie. Because I saw the trailers and stuff, and I was like, eh, it looks okay. But then every time I heard her, I was like, yep, yep, I need to see this. I need to see this. And I was not let down at all. It was amazing. She was great. Uh, Jason, thank you. Hey, Brian, what's your opinion on Johnny from Hotel Transylvania? Nah, I'm fine with him. Well, I'm fine with him now. Have you seen Hotel Transylvania 4? It took a while, but I got there. Uh, voice of your choice. Who would you like, Jason? Uh, oh, we have the alien filter for Dan. I apologize. I even mentioned that earlier. There we go. We have the... Oh, oh no, we don't. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. Uh, okay, never mind. Ah, here we go. Alright. Are we talking about storks? Yep. Talking about storks. Talking about storks. There we go. So now I think... Yeah, let me kind of give an arc for the leg here. Yeah. 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 It's not what I want. I want it like that. Yeah.
basic shoe shapes right now and then I can clean it up and make it a little cleaner and more obvious that those are shoes. There we go. Cool. Alrighty. Yeah, this filter does sound a bit like E.T. I mean, it is an alien filter, and what is E.T. other than an alien? He is an extraterrestrial, after all. Uh -huh. split second just to make sure it was working but it is on for me no longer I was doing that up the dude from Spongebob Dude, she made me experience high tide Ow, your ears. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, I didn't know it was that loud. I'm sorry. What did. Th I want to know what that sounds like with that. Dance, he made me experience high tide. <laughs> okay, it does sound creepy. I get it now. It wasn't creepy when I did it before. It was just. Dance, he made me experience high tide. <laughs> sorry, I didn't realize it was that loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. From here on out, we'll turn this into an ASMR stream. Listen to the sound as my stylus is uh, touching the iPad. And you can hear just the delicate of it. Okay, this is, this is creepy. I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> It was funny for a second, wasn't it? Jason, thank you. Can you do Pete Puma from the Looney Tunes? I got a little rabbit in this hole. And I'm gonna eat him up for dinner. <laughs> but I don't want no tea. Oh, no thanks. I don't want any tea. Oh, yeah? What should we have? Coffee. He's really fun. I especially love doing that. Oh, God, I messed it up that time. <laughs> it's kind of hard to get that one just right. As you guys see, sometimes I'll attempt it, and it's just not right. And I don't want no tea. Coffee. Eh, how many lumps do you want? Oh, three or four. There. No thanks, I'm good. So this one, I'm intentionally trying to make the edges look rough. As it's supposed to look like a cookie. And cookies are never quite fully round. Which I know, I'm kind of... It helps make it look a little more cookie like and you can kind of see like chocolate chips buried underneath the dough and there's like one on top that didn't get his baked in like this one over here and it's kind of hard to make it look like a chocolate chip cookie and not like something else <laughs> like a soccer ball or something when it's colored, I think it'll help a lot. Logan, thank you. 
Just go to sleep. I'll take care of the baby. Okay, go to sleep. I can't believe you went to sleep. You told me to go to sleep. Wait. Uh, what, did Pete Puma do that? I'm trying to remember. Because I, I mainly only remember the that one. All right, just go to sleep. I'll take care of the baby. Okay. I can't believe you went to sleep. You told me to go to sleep. You told me to. You told me to. You told me to. <laughs> All right, and Logan, here is your wheel today. Oh, well, I guess I did. You didn't ask for that. Uh, ooh, stretch break. I could go for a little stretch break. Oh, oh there goes the, my back popped again. <laughs> oh, that was good. Yay! <laughs> I guessed it right. Uh, was it Bugs? Was it Bugs and Pete Pumba? Woo! Logan, thank you. That was the part from Storks with Tulip and Junior. I should have pointed that out. Oh, wait! Now I remember it. Oh, okay, now I do. Now I remember that. Okay, that's... is hurting. The lag is hurting. The lag does not like stretch mode. Oh, that's a big lag. Yeah, I guess it does not like stretch mode. Because it was fine until I bought on stretch mode, and then it's just like, what are you doing? The stream is taking a stretch break, too. <laughs> it feels like that, doesn't it? Okay. We will go back. <laughs> okay, now the stream is already like, ah, thank you. I guess I had it do too much on that. It's so weird. Like, I can sit here and play a game on the computer and it's fine. But if I put in a few extra things, it's like, no. What are you doing? Stop it. I don't understand. All right, well, we can turn off. Oh, I did not finish all of it this line right here no no okay so I need to do a little bit of work on it but we're almost there like we draw the inside of the vest here and then oh nope that's not the shape I wanted I want the shape and that's not what that's not shape I want either. Come on, you can do it. Okay. Nice. Now I can turn this off. Ah! There we go. I think that looks pretty good. I do, I do, I do. Let's uh clean up that line right there. Um I'm gonna make this rock. And we will also not really make any clean arches on it. Draw some blades of grass there. Put some lines to the rock. Yes. I am quite happy with this so far. So we may only be able to color in the Keebler elf, but I must say, I'm pretty happy with how he turned out. What do y'all think? I'm pretty happy with him. I keep making these accidental little lines, but that is okay. Let me clean up that eyebrow right there. Do, 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 do. Do, do. Nice, clean line work. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Oops. Wrong tool selected. I had the eraser and thought it was the, the uh, paint. 
His foot is too big for the rock. Well, I mean, it's a little rock. It's fine. It's supposed to be a little rock. It's not supposed to be all. It's supposed to. He's supposed to feel heroic, but it's kind of dinky because he's like, oh, he's just standing on a little rock. <laughs> just pip. Oh, I am off to battle evil. I don't know why he sounds like an old woman mixed with Mickey Mouse, but he does. <laughs> At least for now he does. Yeah, I didn't do a clean arch on his thumb over here, so let's clean arch that up. Ah, looks better. And I'll do the same thing for this part of his thumb. Because that didn't really get arched up either. There we go. Clean up this just a hair. Ah. Clean up that. That's where I get into the nitty gritty. Probably too nitty gritty, but that's okay. Ba -ba! The lag made you miss your last wheel spin. It was uh, stretch mode again, so I just kept it going. And then the stream did not like that. <laughs> But we did about two stretch. Uh, we did about two stretch breaks worth. Right now, I'm just checking to see if all the lines are totally closed. Oh wait, wrong tool. So then that way, I should just be able to copy and paste this drawing over into a second layer, and then color it there. Because I do like having the main drawing and the color separate. But yeah, that's one of the main things I like about it is the fact that there's no lines there. So there is a flaw in my plan there, but... Eh. Well, I guess in that case... We'll do this then. Let me get his skin color. You know what I'm... A little darker skin than that. He's been out in the sun a little bit. He got a little bit of a tan. I should just be able to drag and drop you right there. Eh, I don't like that color. I like it a little bit warmer. There we go. Let's try that. Yeah, that feels right. That feels right. Whoop! <laughs> Not what I meant to do. <laughs> See, that's one of the other parts about this. It's like, yeah, it's nice to just be able to drop it over. No. But if you're trying to get anything really detailed, it could be a little tricky. Yeah, I'm just trying to get right in there. And now for his... Does he need any other skin anywhere? Um, I'm going to put his hands in like a white glove. Technically, they don't have that, but eh, I see him as wearing a glove. So he's going to have white gloves. I'm going to give him red hair. Make him a ginger. He's ready to fight for the tree. <laughs> yeah. Digging it. And his hat. Technically, they wear like red hats with a, bl with a yellow sash thing. But I'm going to make it a blue hat. With a yellow sash. I don't like using the full. There we go. Yeah, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And now let's get a nice brown for the wooden spoon. What too dark? There we go. Oh, there we go. Boop. And then boop. Oh, uh oh. Houston, we have a problem. We no longer have a problem. And then, boop, nice. And then I like this shade of blue, so we're gonna keep that for his, sh nope, nope, that's not what I wanted. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we'll use this blue for his shirt. No. 
Not that. Boop. There we go. So I'm thinking he'll have a green vest. It'll be blue and green are like his main color. Actually, I don't know. No! Oh, that hurts my eyes. Avert your eyes, everyone. Avert your eyes. Actually, no. Let's go with a yellow vest. Wow, you rebel. I know. Aren't I such a rebel? I'm such a rebel. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, give him a little cuff right there. And I think that same color of brown for his spoon. I'm going to give him shoes. Beep. And then, yeah, I'm going to stick with blue for his pants, too. It's kind of... No, that looks weird. No, he should have a different color. Even though, yes, pants are usually pretty blue. Well, actually, I kind of like the idea of white pants. But we should change this. So he's got white pants. But now we actually see the bottom of his shirt. So that kind of helps with that. And then, yeah, I like him having white pants. And then his Thor, uh, his shield should be gray, at least on the outside. But then it will be a light brown for the cookie on the inside. A light brown for the cookie. Light brown. How about like a right uh, right there? Right there? Let's try that. Kind of. Kind of. And we'll do black for the chocolate chip. Even though technically they're like a dark brown, I think black would pop a little bit better and make it a little easier to tell that these are chocolate chips. But they could also look like raisins. Oh, oh, oh no. Well, that actually kind of did a cool thing all the way around. <laughs> but no, I didn't mean to do that. But that's cool to know for future reference. Hang on. Ah, no. Wrong thing. Yeah, this is why I don't like coloring on the same layer. Because then if I need to change anything with the lines, I lose the color too. So that part's kind of a pain. Where I do that. Okay, try again. No! What's not... What's not there? Okay, you are a completely closed shape. I don't understand. I sit here in bewilderment. I sit here in bewilderment. Fine. You know what? We're doing you old-fashioned way. Cool, we're done. <laughs> we're done with that part, at least. And I made a little black speck on your vest. I'm sorry. Let me clean that up, sire. Sire, let me clean that up for you as you protect the cookie shop. And we'll do a little bit of the inside of the spoon there. Yeah. Yeah, okay. You evilized him. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Now, I know it's not going to show up right now because of the background, but... I should, whoa, no, 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 no. Actually, here we go. I can do it this way. Just to make sure that the white actually gets the color that it needs. So I kind of evilized him again, but I'm about to unevilize him. He's going to get unevilized, I promise. He will get unevilized. It's really just his eyes that make him look evilized. Nope, 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 that made it worse. There we go. He has a little bit of... Nope. I'm going to have to go in here with surgical precision. Nah, that looks weird. I'm going to have to go in here with surgical precision. Yes. No. The middle needs more. Go. No. It went too far. The size should be... That looks weird. Not yes. Not yes. 
pretty happy with him. <laughs> Granted, he's not totally done. But we don't really have a lot of time to keep going. But maybe in the next stream, I can finish the cookie shop. We can add some shading, do some fun stuff with it. I think that would be good. Because I'm really getting into this one. I hope y'all are too, because I'm really enjoying it. Logan, thank you. So I was just told about a sword in Fire Emblem called the Manikati, which my first thought was a sword named after a type of noodle. Okay, then. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> I can see that. All right, uh, Logan, here's your wheel spin. Uh, oh, it's a voice filter. We can try to do one of those real quick before uh, we finish up. Raphael, thank you. Been a while since you drew a human. Who is this? This is... Uh, Keebs. Keebs is the keeper of the cookies, and he is in charge of protecting the Keebler elves. Wait, 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 wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. I have an idea. It's kind of stupid, but I kind of don't care. It's stupid, but I kind of don't care. It's got to have little rosy cheeks. <laughs> Gotta have little rosy cheeks. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. He got little rosy cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you, Isaac. Um. Oh, Isaac, I missed this one. I apologize. Isaac, thank you. Davy Jones, I had an awesome summer. Tell me about the things for the summer. Uh, Davy Jones, you had an awesome summer. Why, thank you, Isaac. Oh, my summer wasn't bad either. Tell me about the things for summer. Well, I was sailing aboard Davy Jones' ship. Well, my ship, the Flying Dutchman. Looky here, boys. A lost bird. I said to myself in the best part of the summer. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a while since I've been Davy Jones. Oh, hope you have a good one, Jack Sparrow. You love to splash around? I love to splash around too. If it's in the boat, in the fact that I'm not in the water. I prefer to stay in the boat. I know the sails and the, uh, the ship itself do the splashing for me. Savvy? <laughs> yes, that's awesome. <laughs> I can imagine him going against Cookie Monster. Yeah. Um, uh, voice filter, Logan, you want the chipmunk filter? You got it. Here's the chipmunk, which we will do for three minutes. And then we will end the stream. He looks like he could be from Link's universe, not gonna lie. I mean, I feel like he could come from the same place that, oh, what's his face did? Was it Tingle? Is that what his name? What was the, 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 the dude in the little green suit? The one who's kind of creepy. <clears throat> I, I feel like he... I may feel like they might be from the same universe. But yeah, no. I'm hoping in like the next drawing stream I can add some highlights and some shading. Um, I think that would be really fun for him. Actually, I'm trying to think because I, I do still want to do lighting and shading with him. But that's going to be hard when the outline and the color are not are on the same layer. So I think I might duplicate him, put him on a second layer, and just eliminate the line work. And then the color can just stay there. Can I, can I do that pretty easily? Yeah, like if I put you up there. And then I duplicate. Well, actually, I didn't need to make a new layer. Yeah, and go in here. So we're in here. And then if I just... I guess I can do what I've done a couple times. It's just, like, make the line work white. Nope, nope, nope. That was not what I wanted. Okay. Okay, so that did that there. 
Yeah, I actually think that would work. Because, yeah, now if I hide this layer... Oh. I missed a little bit of the red from the airbrush. Gotta clean that up. Which means I missed it on this layer, too. That's all right. But yeah, now if I delete this layer, yeah, he looks like that. So there's not really any line work to worry about messing up. Well, I guess I don't even have to worry about the line work thing. Because, yeah, it's just there. I have one on top that's not going to have... Oh, no. No, because I do still have to get rid of the color on the line work layer. Otherwise, nothing's going to go through. So yeah, I guess I still need to put this white over these lines too. And then I'd have to go in here and eliminate the color on this layer. But how do I do that without just straight up erasing everything? Sorry, I'm thinking way too hard about this one, aren't I? Because yeah, now if I just go in here and I just eliminate the color, then it's just white. Because I'm not even truly eliminating the color. Eh. I might have to redraw them. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I know I was taking a long time on that. I was really trying to think through how can I do this. Without totally doing all this stuff that, without making all those things that I said. Okay, so I wanted to thank you guys for coming on the stream today. I had a lot of fun. Hope you did too. And uh, next week, as of now, I'm pretty sure it should be a normal stream week. I think. I don't see anything crazy in my schedule, so let's. Let's do that. Let's aim for that. I believe Tingle first appeared in Majora's Mask. I think so, too. I think you're right, Logan. Thank you, Logan, by the way. So I'm pretty darn sure that next week should be a normal streaming week. I will let you guys know if that changes, but for right now, that's what it should be as we go into July. So, hope you guys enjoy the rest of June, and I shall see you in July. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know why that was kind of weird. All right. See you guys later. Bye.